and welcome back to Cattails here in Creeks Legends. And it is the first day of the summer festival. So we are going to go to the Sacred Temple and join in on the fun, which is going to be really exciting for Little Creek here because she has never been to a festival. That's not something that ever happened in life uh, that as she used to live it back in her old home. And let's see, let's go ahead, make sure, maybe we'll take all of the current treasures we have just in case. I feel like Creek is still a little bit in secure about this being her home so she like takes a whole bunch of the current items that she has with her that she might want to keep forever uh, on her person at all times but it looks like would you guys look at this wow the entire colony is empty i guess everybody is off for that summer festival so let's definitely head over there and we're gonna have to just follow the scent of the other cats. I can't believe there's cats fighting on a festival day. That seems a little odd. But we're going to continue moving our way over to the sacred temple by following the scent the other cats have left behind. So up left, up left, and just keep going. All right, there we go. The beautiful sunken stones. We might be able to find something to eat on our- Whoa, that was a rare butterfly. <gasps> And it's gone. Okay. We might find something to eat on our way, or we might go ahead. No ocean! Today's a festival day. Bad cat! Ah! No, oh, it's a beautiful butterfly. Fluffers, ocean, how could you? It's a festival day. That should count for something. All right, let's go ahead and eat a toad. I feel like that would make Creek a little nervous. And we'll wiggle our way up. There we go. Oh my gosh, Forest Colony is being really aggressive. I thought there would be like a truce for all fighting on festival days, but oh well. All right, and now we are back at the mysterious river that actually swept Creek off of her feet, away from her home, and into this new land. Look at this beautiful, beautiful tree, by the way. Oh, we'll have to come back. Her eyes are wide open. She is surprised, sniffing at the waters, really curious about where these waters may go, where they could possibly take her. And she's really eager to start exploring outside of the wetlands of the Mystic Colony. But today, dun dun dun, da -da! today is a festival day. Wow, look at all of this. Slip, what's going on? Traveling is for younger cats, but I always try to catch the festivals. They're too enjoyable to miss. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. Oh, and time has frozen, thank goodness. I was so worried about that. Oh, look, there's Coco. Welcome to the summer festival. Would you like to play festival games to earn tokens or spend your tokens at the shop? What, what's the festival token shop? What is this? Okay, you can get a mouse. You can get a confetti bag that allows you to rain confetti down at any time. That's so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Paw power. The ancient token fills you with vigor, increasing your max health. Fancy rug decor to put into your den. Oh my goodness, a sunbeam decor, a radiant summer pattern for your cat. Very pretty. Interesting. So I think those are the things that you can get, like sunbeam color, so that you can make your cat like beautiful sunbeam, uh, like coat. I thought for a second it was like sunbeams that you could put into your den as like decorations. Like you could put position a sunbeam down on like your favorite fat toad treasure or whatever you have. That would be kind of awesome actually if you could get sunbeams as a decorative item in your den. That, that'd be really cool. But anyway, that's pretty interesting. Look at all of this confetti, paw power. I feel like that one in particular would definitely make Creek super curious because she's looking for the hidden treasures and the lost legends of the swimming cats. Something that's powerful and shiny definitely sounds like a uh, lost treasure if you ask me. But all right, we'll, we'll figure out what those games are in just a second. Oracle? Oracle, I don't think we've met Oracle. The universe is glad and revels with us. It's good to interact with our neighbors from time to time. Well, some of our neighbors tried to interact by attacking me earlier, Oracle, so I think that Creek is really unsure about all this. The politics of when to fight, when not to fight, all of it's a little confusing. The perfect weather for the celebration. Oh, hi there. How's your summer going? Oh, wow. I think this would be so confusing for Savannah! There you are! I come to the temple pretty often, but it's always nice to see it all decorated. Oh, she's so cute and friendly. Oh, there's a rare butterfly! Get it! Get it! Yay, good job, Creek! Okay, we got a tiger butterfly. 
an unusual butterfly, thank goodness. And then look at all these cats. I've never met these cats before and we just were chasing a butterfly in our over eagerness and landed amongst them. Delta, I hope you're having as much fun as I am. Don't you love how they decorate the temple for the summer festival? I love the colors. Are you talking to me? Look at Luna's fuzzy little pelt, that's so cute. Jack? Oh, Luna, we're still talking to Luna. I'm celebrating with everyone else, but I'm also here to keep the peace. Interesting, Arthur? Uh, thy face appears most jovial. It's a day for much celebration. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what interesting cats. I've never met these cats before. Isn't it nice that we can all come together in peace today? I think every day should be like this. Yes, well, we can speak like that when we don't have empty bellies and territory to defend, Robin. We truly can. Leo? Wow! I have many important meetings with the other colonies that I must attend today. I wonder if he's the leader of Meadow Clan, maybe? Or not Meadow, excuse me, Mountain? Hmm, Ember? What a great day for a festival. Not a cloud in the sky and not too hot either. So I think Creek would be utterly confused. Like, what the heck is a festival? Why are you guys not fighting? We were just fighting earlier today. What's happening? Ah, oh, butterfly! But seeing all the fun little butterflies and the celebrations definitely would be too like distracting for her to really get too upset about things. Once a season, all the colonies come together in peace during the festivals. Isn't that something special? Doc, how you doing? The festivals are an important time to exchange knowledge with other colonies' doctors. There's plenty to learn from others. He and, and Crampy seem like they would get along pretty well. Oh, there's Lisa! It's easier to be friendly with the other colonies in summer. There's still plenty of prey and little sickness in the warm months. That's how I feel, Elisa. She's a very practical cat. I can really appreciate that about her. Oh, look, there's a little paw in the, in the stonework. That's so cute. And Scout? Are you having fun? I'm having a blast. What a great summer it's been. Oh, Scout, you're so cute. Can I give him a little gift? Like a butterfly? Is that something? Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, so you can't really give them uh, any gifts. So noted. <gasps> look at that rare butterfly. Get it. Get it. Come on. Get it, 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 get it. Oh, did we get it? All right, we got the Emperor Butterfly. An unusual summer butterfly with shimmering purple wings. I feel like Creek is really excited about her butterfly wings and she might start lining them up in her den really nice and neat to be able to study all her little treasures. And speaking of treasures, let's go ahead and talk to Coco and let's see exactly what joining the games entails. We're about to have the turtle races. We're about to start round one of three if you'd like to join. Great, follow me to the festival arena. All right, <laughs> turtle racing guys. <laughs> Look at how they're dressed up, dressed up with spikes and one's blue and one has butterfly wings. Your challengers today are Lyris and Arthur. You're no match for Lyris's graceful skills. Huzzah, an easy challenge. Thy defeat, uh, thy defeat is nigh. Uh, first, you'll pick a turtle you'd like to win. Your opponents will do the same. Then the turtles will race to the finish line. If they slow down, you can cheer them on by, by pressing the correct buttons as they appear on screen. Which turtle would you like to race with? Let's go with Speedy, because he's blue and we really love the water. All right, let's go. Come on, Speedy! Come on, you've got this! Go, Speedy, go! <laughs> go, Speedy, go! You're gonna win, Speedy! Don't let the other cats tell you different! Come on, Speedy! Come on! Oh, this- come on! No, no! No, Speedy! He's gonna beat ya! Come on, Speedy! One little burst! One little burst! Oh, he won! We were so close to losing, guys. <laughs> we really, really lucked out. Oh, thank goodness! Cool! Okay, so we got three festival coins there. Let's go ahead and join the games again. And I think you get to race them three times. I wonder if we'll get enough for the little boost. So we're racing Robin. Remember, the most important thing is to have fun. Go easy on an old cat, would you? And slip. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to race with Speedy again. Are you kidding me? Speedy's awesome. Come on, Speedy. Come on, Speedy. You've got this. <laughs> Come on, Speedy. Don't let Mimi get you. <laughs> She's catching up, Speedy. Come on. Come on, Speedy! No, Speedy! Mimi's gonna win! Come on, Speedy! One last little burst, Speedy! Oh, no! <laughs> you came in third place. <laughs> Curses! I think we just literally are going to fall short of being able to get the paw power. Dang it! All right, let's go ahead and try one more time. 
I think you only get to do like a certain number of games per festival, so let's join the turtle races again. All right, Lyris and Alyssa are going to be racing us. Oh, that's pressure, having your colony leader race you. Okay, let's try this again. We're gonna go with Speedy again. I believe in you, Speedy, every time. All right, come on, Speedy. Come on, don't you let them tell you any different. Come on, Speedy. Come on, Speedy. <laughs> You've got this, Speedy. Come on, don't let him, don't let him win. <gasps> ah! It's so hard to remember. Go, Speedy! Yes! All right, so Speedy won. <laughs> Thank goodness. That was so cute. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and I think that the games... Yeah, the next festival will have more games, so I think we have to save our festival tokens because we are literally one token, one token away from being able to get the paw power. So, all right, that was pretty fun. Um, I wonder if we should get the fancy rug. I don't feel like that would be something that that Creek would be super interested in, or the sunbeam coloration. So we'll go ahead and save our festival tokens for next time. But all right, I think that's the, the whole little festival. That's really interesting. Caught a lot of really beautiful, uh, and we'll talk to Sarge. Just because everybody's gathered at the temple in peace today doesn't mean that everybody's friends now. See, and he understands how it is. There's Missy, oh, there's another butterfly. Let's go catch it. We caught lots of beautiful butterflies that we can pretend was kind of like related to all of this beautiful confetti. We raced turtles and we experienced our very first festival, which is kind of an odd day where if you can make it to the temple, everybody will relax. But cats are still fighting outside of the temple borders. But what, what an interesting day. <laughs> that definitely was pretty fun. I wonder if you get a little bit of a friendship boost with everyone for showing up. All right, we'll go ahead and we're gonna leave the festival. Oh, whoa, whoa, and it's already bedtime. What? What if I'm a young cat with a lot of sass and not ready to go to sleep just yet, eh? Well, you know what I think we're going to have to do? And everybody is hiding. I think we might collect some fireflies to light up the inside of our den. There's not anything like glowing, um, there's not anything like glowing mushrooms or stuff like that that we can collect. And I need a little bit more light in our den? No! So I think even if they are, I think that especially having participated in that event and been really confused about the festival and how things work here, I think that Creek would feel a little bit more comfortable in admitting that maybe she won't fit in 100%, but she'll just try to do her best to adapt and cope with whatever challenges or demands come uh, come to her over time. All right, so we're gonna gather up some fireflies so we can light up our den. There we go. There's Rascal. Oh, hello, Rascal. You're a member of here? Oh shoot, seems I can only catch bugs. I'm not good enough pounce to pounce on prey. Oh geez, that can really cause problems, trust me. All right, let's see. And we'll get this firefly, little green firefly. Wow, I, I wonder if the different areas are better for, like really, really better for certain types of prey because we're getting so many fireflies from our little swamp land here, our little wetlands. And we have found so many mice. I mean, clearly you're going to find mice in the fields and you're going to find like squirrels in the trees and you're going to find fish in the water. But it just feels like, oh, that fire, that butterfly is glowing. That is so cool. <gasps> it's autumn first, you guys. Okay, quick. It's spooky, spooky skeleton time. So let's come inside. Oh, we definitely need to get our inventory expansion now that I know the way. Okay, let's see. There's all of our butterflies. There we go. And let's go ahead. Nice, that's what we needed. A nice little way where we could sort of focus on lighting up the den a bit. And I feel like Creek would definitely have a more organized den than Mossy did, <laughs> where things are almost like exactly lined up. All right, there we go. And then right over in this corner, right there. Wonderful. We'll say we're inviting and trying to entice the fireflies versus like mercilessly killing them. <laughs> So that we can light up our den, because this is much nicer. There we go. All right. And then there's that. We'll organize the details so they line up properly in a little bit. And I think we're going to go ahead and put our little pile of toads down. And that's also going to be like a sign of security for Creek. She just really feels like a fat toad in your stomach is going to save you when you're in trouble. 
And then we've got our butterflies. And I really feel like she would line these up very critically and carefully and study the different butterflies to try to research and just understand the differences between them and how they might be different kinds of treasure. All right, there we go. Line that one up. You can kind of like rotate between everything. We might sell some of the, the extra butterflies, that's for sure. All right, there's that one. And I think we have one more specimen that's different than the others. This one right here. Maybe we'll have to move our little frog pile. But Creek is making some progress with some of the items. Yeah, we have an azure and a painted. So I don't think she would like keep extras of those. But she is making some progress with tidying up her den. Whoops, I was trying to grab that, that piece. And uh, she made some progress with the festival. And I think she's beginning to feel a little bit more comfortable mm, going after the fireflies, even though Elisa definitely wouldn't be for that. And maybe making some friends pretty soon. So we'll continue to try to make friends, maybe get some inventory expansions, and start exploring along the rest of the new parts of the map next time. So I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.